Opening face-off is just seconds away. Welcome to another exciting night of hockey action. Tonight's game is sponsored by Honda. Good evening, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, right before game time. Let's go back to your coaching days. What are you saying right now? Well, one, never a bad play to get the puck to the net. Two, when you go to the net, you got to stop in front. No flyby. Stop in front. You want to score? Get to the net. And the third thing, defensively, and even all over the ice, get a good stick on the ice. Stick on stick. The teams are ready, and so are we. Wingles is the choice to take the first face off for St. Louis. Nielsen's his opposite number for the Jets. Right in front. Taken behind by Nielsen. Good job holding that one in. Rister got his stick on it. In the slot. Gaining space, maybe time. Saucer to Nielsen. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Gains the zone. Waffle boarded. Ooh, what a hit. I hope he's okay. That's a dangerous hit. These are players in search of a major penalty, but one guy refused, so his teammate's in there. Wow. Give him the win on that punch. No defense in that one, guys. Wow, they traded punches for a long time. That's a good scrap. This fight's mercifully ended for the visitors. The whole crowd is ecstatic. They're making all kinds of noise. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Winnipeg takes off win here. Hammer. Two minutes for boarding and a five-minute maintenance. On through the corner. St. Louis penalty to number 57, Tommy Rubin. Got to clear it here. Swung between the blue lines by Oshi. It's Kitty cornered in. They must retreat and start back again. McMillan's got this one between the blue lines. Shoots one. Got his glove on it. Grab. Great chance ahead. Moves up along the boards. Uses the middle of the ice. Oh, look at this! Not on the net. Shooter seems to have almost too much speed on his breakaway. Moved up the side by Yossi. Flings it. Sent on goal. Routine save there. Terrific work. Stick broken. Puck cleared. Pressure off. Moves up the side with it now. The Jets have killed it all. Save! and played through center for Van Riemstuck. Drives to the crease, score! The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with a quick release. The Jets dropped first, and we're not even halfway through this opening period. Their energy and physical play allowed them to get this lead. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Two guys together with force. Big force. There's a phrase in hockey, hit or be hit. That's exactly what happened. Looks ahead to start something. Let's it go. Oh, a close call there. Finesse to Tarasenko. He's in. Winnipeg's collected another victory on the faceoff. Diagonally to Callahan. Gathered in by Yossi. Van Riemsdyk's physical game continues. Van Riemsdyk's got the attention of the opponent. Save! Oh, it's there. Squeezed for a whistle.
Yossi's injury is a result of this huge hit. The Jets do an excellent job limiting their opponent's shots on net. One of the main reasons is how many shots they block. Over the last few games, it's a crazy number. Shoots one. Decides on the area behind. Outletted to Tarasenko. Moves up the wing. He's in! Enormous collision. The Jets prevail again. Takes it behind his own cage. To Perot. Great job. Slips on by. Moved to the shadow of the boards by Smith. Enormous collision. I saw that play coming from a mile away. No shadow of the boards here to Richards. Gets on by. Heads to the front. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Picked up in the attacking zone. Gives it on a cross from the point. Let's go, Arister. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. One minute left in the first period. Carried through center ice. He's got it in deep. Speeds right on goal. Between the blue lines. The opening period has been completed. Winnipeg struck twice. 2-0. Hey Bet you'd to like to know what the shots were. Five for St. Louis and five for the Jets. It was a one-goal lead that became a two-goal lead, and this was the goal that put it there. Intermission is next. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Winnipeg's up by a few goals, and rightfully so, and I think it has a direct result of their time of possession. They've done a really good job of managing the puck all over the ice, which has allowed them to generate a lot of good offensive opportunities in that first period. Let's a shot fly. Blocked with the pad. Cranks one. To Oshie. Good solid defensive play there. Controlled through the middle. Back in his defensive end to get it. Burns carried that one between the blue lines. He's in, but not free yet. Score! Three straight goals. Just over three minutes have elapsed here in the second. The Jets have built on their earlier two-goal lead. Their advantage is now three. Goal, scored by number to Callahan. Brent Burns. Assisted by number 74, TJ Oshie. And by number 74, Corralled John by Van Riemsdyk. Time of the goal. He gets Three. through. Van Riemsdyk caught a stick up high. There will be a penalty. St. Louis is given a minor for high sticking. You carry your stick around like that more times than not, you're going to end up in the box. Winnipeg's power play opportunity number is one. This one, the first one. You only get one chance to make a good first impression. See if they do. Back and forth they go between the points. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Pointed to Carlson. To Oshi. Gets that pass after he'd turned it over himself.
A chance to clear. St. Louis with some breakaway. Huge stop by Pavlik. Drives to the net, not on the net. Oh, you miss an opportunity like that. You better not be in a hurry to get back to that bench. Difficult spot for him there. Two on one. He's in on goal. Hit the post with the shot. Point to point it goes to Daly. In front. St. Louis gets their man back. We're at full strength. Angled to Bork. A shot. Oh, and it's off the mark. Oh, here's a wrister. Deflected off the blocker. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. St. Louis has been an absolute train wreck defensively. Their coaches are on their players to communicate more on the ice. There's been none of it. A little under eight minutes have transpired in the period. Winnipeg's widened the margin even more with that recent goal. They're up by three. The draw, the tie up, and his team prevails. Delayed penalty call. Full steam up the wing. St. Louis gets a minor penalty for boarding. These are the type of plays, Doc, that we want to eliminate from the game where the attacking player has no chance to protect himself when getting hit from behind. Winnipeg's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. St. Louis penalty to number seven. The Jets win it right from the slot. For boarding. Time of the penalty. Eight minutes, 50 seconds. Looking for a better lane. He could start some danger here. Good position in the slot. Got to ice it here. Solid job of holding the pressure on. Knocks it away with the stick. Blue line control. In the slot, he's got it. Acrobatic stop by Grice. An unbelievable stop from a high scoring area. And that one's just one more save. Mazaros has it on his stick. Can he get it out of there? Whistle blown, puck to the bench. And that's out of play. Be fun if it weren't. Grice quickness saves him here. He makes a remarkable stop. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Winnipeg's got time for only this rush. Nice pass right up the gut. Got on by with that one. Blocked. Slides it to the point to Carlson. St. Louis back at full strength. Puck held near the point. That shot hit a man. To Carlson gets that return pass right up the middle to Oshie. He's into the slot. Taken on by Smith. Carries it up the side. And he is reefed. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. They've got a two on one. Back in front, shoots right in front. Dragged through the neutral zone by Cole. On to Perot. St. Louis starting from scratch. He's in, can he get free? Oh, it's a penalty shot. Boy, the defending player really worked so hard to come all the way back. All he needed to do was take another stride or two. He might not have given a call for the penalty shot on the tripping infraction. Strength versus strength. Oh, what a 
terrific save in close. A little over three minutes to be played in the second. The Jets just keep building on that earlier lead. They're up now by three. Winnipeg's got a defensive zone win. Between the blue lines, good deke, and he gets by. Collected by Mazaros. Slid to winning. Point to point to point. Perfect connection right through center. And gathered in by Mazaros. Last minute of play. In the Into the last period. minute of the second period. Terrific hit that time. It's just one of a pile he's had today. Moves to the barrier at center ice by Dustin Bufflin. Cruises to the slot. He scores! Just before the period ends. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. By number 33, Dustin Bufflin. Time of the goal. 40 minutes played, 20 minutes to go. Nothing to save it for now. Let's check out the shots on goal through those two periods. 13 for Winnipeg and 10 for St. Louis. Grice had a hard period. And you can see an example here. He'll try to pull it back together. And so will we when we come back. face-off of the third period. It's an onside play. The Jets will start from their own end. Up the wing with it now. Moves it to the barrier at center ice. He got it in! Picked up in the attacking zone by Oshi. The refs caught something, a delayed call here. St. Louis has been handed a penalty. You can slow the man down, but you can't interfere with him. That's why they get two. You got to be in control. You just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. Well, the power plays had some good opportunities so far here tonight. They have to stay with their game plan. To good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. Bork's cutting through the neutral zone. A two-on-two two moving on. A shot. Lifted on goal. That's why the goalie's there. Moves it to the shadow of the boards. And there's a delayed penalty call. Gathered in by Oshi. One-timer. Oh, tremendous stop by Grice. He made it look easy. What a stop. Goalie to the bench, arm still in the air, substitution made. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. The Jets shift from defense to offense. St. Louis has been handed a penalty. You can slow the man down, but you can't interfere with him. That's why they get two. Clearly an interference call not allowing the player to get involved into the play. It's a five on three, it's a power play, and it's a chance to do some damage. Good job on the draw. And that one's sent back out to see. The Jets go back so that they can come back on this power play. Propelled to Nielsen. Right on his stick on the centering pass. Nice keep at the blue line so the attack can continue here. Trying for it. Get that one away. Brilliant lift to McMillan. One into another. He was looking to knock him into the third row. McMillan's banged up here as he works his way back to the bench. I can see the trainer working his way down to his end. Save! Back near the blue line to Carlson. Hammered back down. They never gave up. There might be more coming here, though. Led on to Perot. Laid on to Nielsen. Masaros is tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Jets have been handed a minor penalty.
both teams are a man short as they get ready for the faceoff to determine possession. Winnipeg Quick work on the faceoff. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Winnipeg's power play has let them down again. Bufflin's cut through the neutral zone. What a save. Coley's looking around the screen to try to find the puck. Up that right side to Briere. Great chance here, two on one. He drives toward the slot. And he takes it through center ice. Drives to the crease. Got his stick on it. Can he make him chase it? Takes it on the wing. Neutral zone pickup here by LaPierre. Shoots. Good attempt. Easy save. Oh, he'll pay for that. St. Louis has a minor penalty, and the call is goalie interference. As an attacking player, you have to stay outside the crease. You cannot interfere with the goaltender. Both of these teams are a man short right now, so we get ready for another faceoff. St. Louis penalty to number 40. The Jets prevailing on the faceoff. Winnipeg survived it. Now they're on the power play. Oh, and he's hammered. Cole's not known for his physical play, Doc, but he's trying to give his team a spark with physical play. Near the boards. Winnipeg's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. Heads to the front. And play stop because of an offside. No team worth its name is going to let that go. A minor apiece. He's calling both, Doc. He's got them both going to the box. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. We've had plenty of opportunities on the power play. Nobody's been able to score. Two minutes for roughing. Winnipeg penalty to number 64. Right there, but can he get it out of harm's way? No, oh, they got it out. They checked the clock and prepare to defend some more. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Good distance on that one to Oshie. Look at this! Outstanding point blank save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Looking from the blue line, a good deep there. Score! A power play goal! Over nine minutes played here in the third. The Jets just keep hammering away on offense. They're winning going away. Winnipeg Winnipeg's got that one. Play. Nice By job to get six. it from the boards Trevor to center. Daly, oh six. my! Six. Superb six. save six. by Bryce. Six. Wonderful six. stop. Speeds right on goal. Enormous hit. I saw that play coming from a mile away. Offensive zone pickup by Larson. The Jets will start from their own end. And glides on through center ice. And they've got a three on one. Chip to Lyles. Dragged between the blue lines. Picked up between the blue lines by Oshi. He's free, but will it last? Score! Face-off win, let's see what develops. Gets in, what'll he do? Outstanding save with a glove. Controlled by Nielsen. In all alone. 
picks it up in his own end. Heads along the boards. Daly's got this one between the blue lines. A shot. Looks ahead to start something. Sent back out so finally they can get the change they were looking for. And the call is icing. A legitimate call here late in the game. And so we've been on the receiving end of more than a few of these things. This is why you retire from the game. What a gorgeous hit. Good face-off win. Out in the slot. Up the wing. Terrific hit. He's racked up a lot. Huge hit. Possession's gone. You go through that area of the ice, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get hit. Can he generate something? Marvelous save. No time on that one. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Save. We are in the last minute of regulation time. Right near the line. Can he keep it going? On to Bufflin. Dumped in. Pavlich is back behind his net and is able to stop it right there. Carried through center ice. It's a three on two as they move in. Gets by. Score! Neutralized face-off win. Scored by number 16, Andrew Ladd. Into the end of attack. Dustin Shooting. Save. Andre Pavlik. He can start some danger here. Glides across. Nice job. Straight stand-up poke check. He's going to the net. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. on this four check have done wonderfully. The game is over. It is a good thing there are extra digits that go all the way up high on both scoring and in shooting because those were challenged tonight. This was lopsided. Not a very good effort. Need to regroup. The coach and general manager are going to have a meeting.